guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Farscape. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode three of Farscape. Uh, the last episode, I actually, uh, I, I know that these are, that the way I'm watching them is the order that Peacock has them playing. So they are kind of out of order. Um, the episode two was originally IET, and that was not what I watched last time, and I am watching episode three on Peacock, so it might still be out of order. This one is called, uh, what is it called? My, my computer shut down. Come on, come on. Uh, back and back and back to the future, which sounds awesome. Uh, so the last episode we had all of the bugs in the ship, um, and that, that was like, kind of shenanigans, but it actually taught everybody to like trust John and not keep testing him. And actually it did test him in a way and let him prove himself to the crew. And I love that because, you know, Dargo, he's a warrior. That's just kind of the language he speaks. Uh, Aaron, you know, she's not only a warrior, but like, you know, she's also a Sebation. So he's not, he's human or whatever we're calling them. Uh, but, like, they're the same, but, like, different. Obviously, they're not completely the same because we also found out that Aaron is, in her race, are cold-blooded and that um, if they're overheated, that eventually they will fall into something that is called the living death, which is essentially alive. But, like, I, like, paralyzed, unable to move. Like, it is literally the worst thing you could possibly think of, which is to be inside of a body and not being able to do anything. And it's the one mercy that their race shows each other is that if they're in the living death, that they will do what they need to do. Um, and I don't know if that's going to come back at any time in the future. I feel like it it, it will. Um, but, uh, you know, that that's actually how we got rid of the other people from the peacekeepers that had landed on the ship and they were trying to capture them is that we overheated them. And, um, sent them on their way. Uh, I, I really like John and I really like the way he is with the crew. Um, Rigel, I actually gained a lot of respect for because he actually talked to the queen. I was just like, oh, this snoot, like he's just going to try to like, you know, run away and not deal with anything, but he's actually like really good at negotiating. And I think him being from an upper echelon type of family or, you know, a uh, uh, planet or whatever it may be is that it has taught him negotiation tactics. And I, I love that he got us out of that and, and was able to, you know, negotiate and, and at least say, like, hey, like, we'll, like, let all of your children be born if you could just, like, not kill Aaron. Um, and it, it worked. And uh, we haven't seen Dargo fight. Like, I mean, we've seen him fight, but we haven't seen him do, like, a lot of fighting. And for a warrior, like, I can't wait to, like, really see him get his hands dirty. Um, and let's see, we have our little DRDs and we, we only have them on occasion, but when we do, I feel like a delight tingle inside. Um, we had a moment with Aaron and Pilot, which I thought was great because, um, I just like thought Pilot was like somewhere in the ship that no one ever goes to. And he just kind of talks via walkie talkie. And, uh, you know, like he was like very caring for her and was very concerned about her. And I like Pilot. I also learned recently that, um, the guy that voices him is also the person who plays Crace. And Crace is not my favorite person. And somebody actually told me today that his brother's name is Zach. And I find it really funny that uh, his brother also can't fly a ship. If you know that reference, go team. Um, <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, Crace is not going to give up anytime soon. I'm sure the peacekeepers are on our, are either on their way towards us or they're going to find us again because we kind of escaped, but we kind of didn't because that ship came back to find us. And so I think we're on the run for quite some time now. I don't know what back and back and back to the future means. Like some of these titles, I think are not going to give anything away. I'll be like, well, what the hell does that mean? And so I'm really excited because I really like our crew, um, especially, you know, Zan. I really like her. Like she is like a really good person. She was really kind to Rigel, you know, redoing the painting for him and just kind of like, like really building that relationship. But then, you know, also like, like being really compassionate to John and kind of telling him how to kind of win favor with Aaron and Dargo and like how to not always be seen as an enemy because he looks like the enemy. 
Um, and like that was really helpful and it was really nice. and That was really kind. Um, I'm trying to think if I've missed anybody on the ship. Zon, Dargo, Rigel, Pilot, Aaron, John, and our little DRD droids. I don't think so. And I don't know if the, these will start going into a continuous story or if it will be very episodic. Sometimes episodic's nice because then it doesn't carry over anything. You can just start fresh and all of my, you know, beginnings won't be nearly as long. My breakdowns will always be my breakdowns. But, you know, the, 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 the beginnings, if I can just recap what it is that I watched last, great. If I have, like, thoughts and feelings that I've had to mull over for a while... Also great. So I'll share those with you guys too. Um, the full length watch alongs will be available on my Patreon. We'll have a faster version and a slower version because apparently the frame rates are different for certain versions if you're watching them. But uh, you can head over there if you also want to see any early episodes. So guys, I'm going to jump into this episode. This is episode three, back to back to back to the future. Back, back and back and back and Let's just go. <laughs> okay. And let's go. <laughs> Pilot, blast us out of here. Agreed. But they may be survivors. We'll drink to honor their memories later, but we leave here now. What are we looking at? Is there a problem? Yeah, what 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 is the problem? Explain. What is that belong to? Don't know. Don't care. It's subatomically disintegrating, John. What does that mean? Reason enough to stay clear. Uh, true. Yeah. I don't mess with space shit like that. Anything that glows, proto molecule, dragon fire. Please help us. Power's malfunctioning. Pilot. He knows her. Does does, does he know her? Deploy the docking web. Whoa, Aaron, that is quite the outfit. Your ship's in trouble. Come on. Okay, a lot of people said that they had a crush on her growing up. I get it. Oh, are they his race? Here's a good spot on the floor. No med bay for you. Don't touch it! Don't! Why? John, you're so smart and so stupid. I don't like it. Ah, back and back and back and back to the future. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I don't know what the singing's about, but I, every time I hear it, I'm like, yeah, someone's high. You must be able to do something. There may be others on that cruiser. Yeah, but you can't get close to that. Well, maybe John can now that he's touched it. I don't know. Not anymore. Rigel! <sighs> the cargo's fine. What is the cargo? Yeah, what is that? You expect me to tell a peacekeeper? Well, she's retired. Sort of. We have all escaped from the peacekeepers. She is one of us now. Yes, so your cargo. Scientific apparatus would be more accurate. Mm. We have been studying deep space gravitational fluctuations. Something dangerous they shouldn't be messing with. On our way to rendezvous with another cruiser. If you could take us there. Of course. Our ship is yours. Whoa, easy there. Our guidance station is this way. Ah, maybe they're not the same race? But, like, he definitely is, like, wanting Thank to help you. them. What now? Uh. What now? <laughs> what was that? Something the matter? Boner, maybe? Uh, I just had a, uh... Wet dream? Whew, I don't know what I just had. <laughs> you need to rest and revitalize, too. Yeah, you gotta let all the blood flow back to the brain. The coordinates are now locked in. How soon can we get there? What's it worth to you that we've already saved your lives? And we're most appreciative. I don't like her. Then you want to express that appreciation before we agree no to... No bargains. Hmm? These are my friends. Oh, Friends. how? You? You've only just met them. Um. Oh! oh! My 
my friends are Ilonic, genetic cousins to the Luxons. Ah, okay. Our races have been blood allies for over 1,000 cycles. Why is he saying it like that? We shall extend them every courtesy. Ow! I mean, I wanted to do the same thing to Rigel. Not gonna lie. Is there anything I can offer you in the meantime to eat or to drink? For myself, no. But I'd like to get Pharrell to eat something. Will you accompany me? She just has a weirdness about her. Then you haven't heard. The Ilonic Sector is at war. Mm. The Scorpions. Yes. Scorpions. Mm. And the Luxons. Do they fight at your side? Your people have been more than generous, mm. far beyond what our mutual treaty requires. Mm. How could I? Honorable. Luxons truly are the best allies one could want. I feel like they're buttering him up or something. I feel like they sh they are not trustworthy. Get away from that hatch. What's inside there? We've already told you. Very sensitive equipment that contains a cycle's worth of complex sensor readings. Well, I'd like to see it. I said, get yeah, away. I want to see it too. Ooh. You've had some training. Care to test it? Yes, let's see it. Kick her ass, Aaron. Oh. Is there a problem here? The warrior ruined everything. Someone would send a cruiser with only two scientists all the way out here just for research. Mm -hmm. There are many species. Sus. Oh my. You like it rough, buddy? <laughs> Are you going to say something? You okay, no. John? Well, yes, I'm. I'm. I'll be in my bunk. Ah, uh, you were saying. Oh, I just don't trust them. The female, especially. Either one, quite frankly. She's clearly leading Dargo around by his mivonks, and I think she's having some sort of an effect on you. Me. Mm -hmm. That's <laughs> BS. <laughs> she's an entirely different species. We can never. Yeah, just don't stand up. You will reveal all. Wow. Wow. Like through the belly button or? Is something wrong, John? Or is something right? It's a bit like it's just been violated. I'm just gonna get some air. Oh no. We have air in here. What is the matter with him? Does he feel like he's been violated? That's that that's not good. Like saucy feelings, yes, but like actual Something no good. I've always taken a special interest in rocks and objects. The workmanship is exquisite. Your hands are quite skilled. Wow. Dargo! I'm feeling a little hot myself. Hey, can I yell? I'll talk to you. Now. Yeah, if she's intrusively doing something in John's mind, that is not okay. If he's just high and like picturing it, that's one thing. But if it's like her, that's not cool. I've been having these flashes, and I'm somewhere else, and Matawa's there. You know, we're like getting horizontal, vertical. <laughs> <laughs> you, you were fantasizing about her. Mildly, Remove but. Remove her from your thoughts. But what about the 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 the, the molecule thing? Hey, check the attitude, pal. See it up for yourself, John. She's not my type. At all. Dargo, is he still behaving like Verilyn Matala's personal servant? Whoa, oh, John, where'd you go? Come back. Wait, what? Oh, where is he? Who? Dargo, is he still behaving like Verilyn Matala's personal servant? Whoa. Groundhog Day. Did you hear me? Twice. Yeah, I heard you. Fine. Twice. Yeah. You are very odd, Crichton. Yeah, but I like him. That was real. That happened, which means I'm not hallucinating. So if... Is he seeing something from the future, maybe, when... I'm seeing the future. Yeah. He sees them getting it on in the future? Probably for research. Ooh. I mean, her outfit's slamming. I get it. 
there. What is going on? Oh, no. Is this in the future? Can he stop this from happening? Do we want to stop it from happening? Watch out. John, soccer. Mm-hmm. You can't go in there. Why not? Matala's in there, and she's gonna try to kill you. Do you think this clumsy ruse will turn me away from Matala? No, 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 it's, it's, it's not a ruse. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but... And you do anything to get her. I don't... Uh, mm. Do you not want Matala? Would you listen to me? Look, open your ears or your tentacles or whatever... Yeah, whatever. ...you listen with. I think the woman is dangerous. Oh, she's for sure dangerous. Where's Matala? She just left with the peacekeeper, Aaron. I have brought you some Kantala tea. Bring it right in. Well, I worry about her being with Aaron, too. Yeah, you went a little too far in the future, I think, with that one. This is not happening. It's not. It is happening, buddy. This is not happening. It is. It is. It is. You're, you're, you're smart. You can figure this one out. Aaron invited me to partake in some physical conditioning with her. Ooh. You'll be down in the cargo bay, right? Yes, as usual. Busy? Away from everyone? Yes, as long as she can keep up. Come, if you're coming. <laughs> oh, fragile, you're always feeding your face. You've been aboard Moya longer than anyone else except Pilot. Mm -hmm. No point being. You know her sound. Stop and listen to her for a moment. Oh. Nice pickup, son. Well, you sounds fine. Does she? Does she? Oh. Not to me. Something feels out of balance. Oh, man, I trust Zahn about that. She would know something's out of balance. Okay. All right, girls. Let's see this. I can definitely see how everyone got a crush on Aaron. Females have no need for science or culture or even the art of attracting males. Like what a bitch! They achieve their goals by seducing male after male. <laughs> yes, love it. Yes, we both have our unique talents. <laughs> mm. I feel like Aaron's just trying to feel her out, to see her moves, see what she can do. I like it. More? Or are we through here? I feel like you should tap. Oh! Is that like a... For the exercise. Like a Vulcan neck pinch or something? Where it just stuns them? Doesn't kill them, right? Because, like, John stopped, and then she snapped his neck. Same thing with Dargo. Matalo. Ooh. Mom's wanting to talk to you. The first symptoms of trouble you had with your ship, what were they? We knew nothing until the phase couplers overloaded. And what does it matter now? Our ship is gone. Perhaps Pharrell will help. I'm sure he'd be glad to help you. You can help me. I'm curious about Crichton. Far too complex, I'm afraid, for you to know in the short time that you'll be here. I suggest you shouldn't try. Mm. No, I really must speak with Pharrell. <laughs> I, I love Son. Stargo, Matala, Matala. Look, I should interrupt. I need to keep people from, from, from seeing each other. That's... Must you jibber while I'm eating? Yes. Or at all? Oh, boy. Okay, we're here again. You know where she's gonna be. Good job, John. Good job, John. Oh, well. Oh! Poor Rigel. I'm on a super permanent... John, what is it? You can talk to Zahn. This is going to take a lot of explaining. Zahn's here for you. Oh, you okay, Rachel? Goodness. If these future flashes are indeed occurring, as you say, then you could simply alter the sequence of events and change the future. I thought of that. Lock myself in my room, wait for him to leave, but Matala could still murder Varel and Dargo. 
if that's what she intends to do. I, I promise. I just don't know why she would want to kill us. I don't know what the game is. Oh. I'm sorry. That's all right, John. <sighs> Maybe this is in the future and he hasn't dropped it yet. You said you didn't quite buy Pharrell's explanation for the phase imbalance, right? Well, I think it's time the old goat spilled his guts. Pharrell! You've been lying to uh, You need to calm down, rest, and revitalize. Don't let her get near you. I have a technique that just might... Back off, nature girl. Well, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> and you tell me, what really happened to your ship? Targo, help me. He knows the truth. Uh, I wanted to see him do his warrior thing, but not against John. Unless I pleasured him. She's lying. I know you. Doggo, what are you doing? Yeah, take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. If these future flashes are indeed occurring, as you say, then you could simply alter the sequence of events. I just did. I changed the future and I made it worse. Okay, let's look at it again. Sorry. Again. <sighs> I just found something out. Tyler is not Elonic. She is Scorpion. Her Elonic appearance must be the result of genetic surgery. Interesting. Because she fights like a Scorpion. Thank you, Aaron. Set up. You saw her move, so think you saw them. Scorpion neural stroke. How do you know about that? Yeah, I saw it in the future. <gasps> what do you, you mean? Explain that I'm one just, to Aaron. Yeah. You know what? Ask me later. Ask me later <laughs> when I got more time. Of course, I could. I'd be dead three or four times by the time you ask. But. <laughs> Is it possible you'd ever consider joining us? Pledging to fight by our sides in the battle ahead? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. I wish I could do as you asked. It's not nearly as simple as that. Oh, poor Dargo. Is it because of your crime? Pharrell told me. I did not tell Pharrell what my crime was. No one aboard this ship knows the real truth. It matters not. I want to know the real truth. On the battlefield, there is only them. And us. I feel like I should be watching that. You can collect yourself, son. I'm on my way, Zan. <laughs> He's coming. <laughs> Sorry, it's a horrible joke. These data correlations demand my total attention. Well, I suggest you refocus your total attention because there's some crap going down here that just might be of interest to you. Crap. Yes. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> He's so human. Crap like, I know you're not out here in the uncharted territories doing research. Crap like you have enemies called the Scorpions and that your trusted Scorpion. colleague Matala is dead set on killing you. You're talking nonsense. Mm -mm. I mean, yes, but no. So Dargo and I, we pull you two out of the shuttle. I go back in and I get zapped by some loose wire. Do you remember that? Vaguely. Well, ever since then, I've been having these time flashes into the future. Is that something to do with the weapon? Can the weapon do that? Temporal dislocation. Excuse me? You must have been exposed to... Exposed to what? Yeah, what? What you said about Matala. What makes you believe that? He's seen it. Exposed to what? What's in the damn shuttle? A quantum singularity. A black hole. A minute particle of one yes. Wow. Its power and application are unimaginable. Look what it did to a human. It is the ultimate weapon. Mm-hmm. Should probably go away. If you are right about Matala, she will kill for it. And he's seen her do it. What has he told you? That you are not who you say you are. You can't... <laughs> It's just a nerve block. Like, he's okay. Aaron! Yeah, where's Aaron? Uh, you guys suck at keeping him safe. Where's Aaron? Or, yeah, this could be another future vision. What happened? I mean, if they shoot her ship, will it cause the singularity to explode and create a black hole? Hopefully this is in the future. Hopefully it's in the future. 
Definitely in the future. If these future flashes are indeed occurring, as you say, John, oh my God. then you could simply alter the sequence of events. Hasn't been able to yet. It just happened again. Set it down. Okay. What was the point of that? He chose to break it? I've just found something out. So we know Matal is not Elonic. How did you find out? You. He says he is experiencing the future. He can barely function in the present. <laughs> Look, I've already lived through all this. I'm glad that he well, could jump back. When I say we confront them and force them to Doesn't work. Then we separate them and been there. Done Doesn't that. work. It's not gonna work. Zahn? Yes, pilot, we know. Maybe get her alone and seduce her. That's correct. No, but how no, did you not know? now. Dargo is the key. As long as he is with Matal, the timeline keeps getting worse and worse. We gotta talk to him alone. Oh. We gotta get him away from Matala. We cannot ask him to come up and deal with the phase imbalance because he's gonna bring Matala with him. We have got You gotta get her alone. Work your Earth Man magic. We gotta try something new. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb you, Dargo, but could you speak to Rigel? He has presented a bill for the rescue and transportation of our guests. I've explained this to him before. I will explain it to him again. Smart. Okay, now get her away from him. Santargo, I wish to God Matala was telling you the truth that you could go off with her and join the Elonic Wars. Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, right, you haven't had that conversation. Look, <laughs> to keep you off balance and to distance you from us. I don't believe any of this. It's you who are trying to distance me from them. Yeah, I mean, yeah. There's nothing you can say to me that... You just shut up and you listen to me. Okay. In that future conversation, when Matala offers you to go to the Elonic Wars, you tell her that your crime would stand in the way. It's not the crime that you say you were in prison for, but the real crime. How do you know that? You can't. Well, I did know, and I'm telling you the truth. Smart, John. Wow. Matala is the enemy. And he kept his secret for him. Crichton, there's a vessel approaching. It's the Elonic cruiser. Or it looks like one. Like Matala, it might be Scorpion on the inside. True. Can we outrun her without Starburst? No, but I can outmaneuver her and keep her from the weapons knock. Love it. Talk to them. See if you can distract them. See if you can figure out who they are. Scorpions look nothing like Elonics. They refuse to make visual contact. You have your answer. In which case, I start dodging. Yep. Dargo, wait. We gotta play this smart. Yes, Dargo, please. We regret that our comm system has a malfunction. Permission to dock and come aboard. And Dodge away. Pilot. I don't think that they'd actually shoot, though, because they also want that weapon. Who are you, Madala? Who are you, really? She's still gonna kill Varel. No! Drop the rifle. Ooh. Drop the rifle. Get it towards me now. Oh, her real voice is terrifying. <laughs> and he gets stabbed anyway. How is she able to fight them so easily? Darko's supposed to be a warrior. Kick her ass. Yeah, good point. Good point. Forgot about that. But she's like already on her way to that ship. Okay! We're getting the spaceship! Must destroy. Oh, he's still alive. Good. At least get her out into space, right? Is she out of sp in space or is she still in Moya? I need Starburst, and I'm talking right now. Oh, okay, she did get out. Oh, it couldn't happen to a better lady. Dope! <laughs> Starburst is so cool. Sorry, Dargo. 
Sorry. Me too. I should have seen it coming. Well, you did. <laughs> A lot of times. He's just eating himself silly. Little camper. He <laughs> looked good, man. Oh, is that how they kept him busy? Which bit of me looks good exactly? The bit that's not jumping back and forth in time. <laughs> food cube? Oh, food cube! <laughs> hey, how you doing? I will recover. <laughs> yeah, when? Do you mock me? Dargo, I mock all of us. Yeah, it's true, yeah. I am normally unaffected by females during the crisis. It's just... It has been so long. Oh, that. I understand. Oh. <laughs> Man, do I understand. Yeah. Well, Erin probably has the same anatomy-ish as you. So, she's hot. I'm here for it. Okay, 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 okay. I thought we were going to be getting, like, some sort of sexy time. Um, I thought he was being violated by her mentally, like, somehow, some way. And I was, like, really getting ready to just be, like, crush her. Crush her hard. Uh, the fact that he was skipping forward into the future is really interesting because, like, what future was that? <laughs> like, I really thought that, like, he was going to have to distract her by, like, seducing her so they could get Varel on their side, all that stuff. That didn't happen. So I'm not quite sure what the whole point was of him seeing that. <laughs> John edging is what I got in that. Uh, so anyway, um, very interesting. So the Scorvians and the Illy... Illians? Alatians, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, the the it was it was quite an honor for Dargo to have them on board, um, considering who they were, that he thought they were, and you know his whole demeanor just changing because like you know he seems to be very honorable. So I don't know what his true crime is that like he was in prison for. Um, but it seems to be something that very much affects him, uh, deep down on an emotional level. And it's, it's, I'm not sure if it's just a shame that he feels about it or if he is like truly like, like he really feels sorry for what he did. And I don't, I mean, I, I feel like one of the worst things you could do is murder. Maybe it was a crime of passion. Um, and then him saying like, it's been a really long time and John being like, yeah, like I know all about that. There's there's plenty of languages that we all speak that are different, but, you know, the language of the heart or longing or wanting passion or love, some sort of physicality, if if you, if physical touch is kind of your, your thing, you know, and, and I get that. Like, there's sometimes where just like, I feel like a hug can change the world or, you know, simply like having, you know, your, your dad squeeze your shoulder or whatever. I, it always relates back to like my parents. For some reason, mom hugs make me feel really better when I'm sick and dad, dad hugs just brighten the day. So, you know, I, it's, it's, I get where the longing for either, you know, that, that type of passion or just feeling connected to somebody else, you know, I get it. I understand it. And, you know, for me, like, I'm like, well, John has Aaron, not that I'm like trying to ship them because I really, I like it when there isn't romance on, um, the ship between crews. Um, but you know, the fact that there are sebations out there, meaning that John could also, you know, uh, find somebody maybe that he could bond with or get some of that alien strange um you know what <laughs> figure it out you know like like i i i think that there is a a chick or a, a squid or something for him out there you know i i think so and you know dargo like definitely like it's from the first episode with um zan and her talking about the fourth sensation and all that like you could tell that like he was just kind of like Ooh, like kind of turned on, but like, it's not just that it's, it's a connection. He really wants a connection. And, you know, I feel like it's just, I don't think it's just physical. I think it's also love for him as well. Um, and then I, I, I've said it several times in this reaction. I can see why Claudia Black was the, uh, the crush that a lot of you guys had back then because she's smoking, uh, physicality, like the fight between her and, and, and what's her face, like, wasn't like really 
that crazy or that extreme because you could definitely tell the actress playing uh i forget what her name is now she was hired for acting not for a physical fight and i think that like claudia black like was hired for like acting and her physicality and stuff like that so like like the skill levels are probably going to be different in that fight uh but like I like seeing her do her thing. And I want to see Dargo be a warrior and do his thing. And it just seems like he gets his ass kicked a lot. <laughs> but I do believe there's a warrior in there. I just think he might need the right setting. I think that that's what that calls for. I hope. Rigel was uh, practically useless in this whole situation other than um, like saying, like, let them die. I'm going to eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. Uh, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes he's not that important to a scenario there was no negotiation that he had to be part of and you know uh dargo grabbing his eyebrows and like just kind of like telling him to hold his tongue uh in, in a manner of speaking uh <laughs> like hold your tongue here go let your tongue loose there enjoy your food uh yeah <laughs> i wanted to do that myself to mr rigel uh yeah uh the black hole so having a singularity like that and, and being able to have a piece of it. One, I don't, I think black holes are like still one of those things that we don't quite know enough about and understand that a lot of it is science fiction when it comes to black holes. But what we do know makes them scary enough. So uh, the fact that it allowed John to see into the future multiple times over, that's really interesting. Um, and they're right that that is a great weapon, but also uh, that's horrifying. The genocide you could do with a black hole is just unbelievable. Um, so uh, very happy with the way that that ended. And I will not be crying any tears for her whatsoever. Or the Scorpions. The Scorpions seem like the Klingons of this uh, universe. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're, 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 we don't like them. Or maybe they're the Borg. Maybe it's a mix between Klingons and Borg. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm... Um, I was just thinking that somebody in the comments had mentioned, I can't wait for her to meet Scorpius. I don't know if Scorpius is a Scorpion, but John did say like something about your enemies, the Scorpions. So I was like, hmm, wait, 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 wait. Um, I don't know if that, if that's probably just me making a random connection because that's what I do. But guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon as well as one episode early. Uh, you can go over there and see it on uh, Patreon before anyone else sees it on YouTube. But in the meantime, like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. One, I know I'm watching it out of order, and uh, I don't know if this was actually episode three on a DVD or Blu-ray or not, but back and back and back and back to the future. Like, what a great title right am i right but like uh like when you guys were watching it on tv the, the I'm, I'm not sure if this is the tv i think it is because i think they screwed things up and they ended up playing an episode iet which like a lot of the connections for like the the um the crew like weren't really there and it seemed out of order but i don't know if, if you guys watched it in this order originally if you were confused when you got there or like because they really feel very congelled right now like this, this it feels like a good team like you even have dargo and john almost almost bonding uh aaron's very trustworthy now where i did not really think she was really super trustworthy in the first episode and you know zan has me wrapped around her little finger because she's a mom of the ship and i'm just like Girl, anything you want or anything you need. <laughs> if you want to talk, I'm Regal. Like, uh, yeah, she, she's my uh, my favorite on the ship thus far. And Rigel, of course, is just, it's just Rigel. Yeah. Um, but the, the, the question I was going to ask was, is that did you watch it uh, in the order in which I am watching it or Blu-ray DVD order? Or even if you were in another country, did you watch it differently? Because I, I feel like... Um, Every time I hear about how something aired differently than uh, what it was supposed to and the production companies or the studios screwed something up, i.e. Firefly, uh, that it always screws over a show. And I don't know if that helped, hurt, if it had no effect whatsoever, but I'm I just kind of curious. So I feel like those are going to be the questions for like the first eight episodes of like... Like, where did this land and how did you like it? But I like this a lot better than I think I liked the last episode because there are no bugs. There's there's no bugs. And there was some science fiction in there with the uh, black hole. We got to see some new alien races, which uh, I think I'm going to enjoy thoroughly about this show, is the aliens, the alien races, 
maybe bugs, maybe creatures, um, the cooler stuff that we get to see, the more interesting things. Uh, I'm very, very tuned into that. But guys, come back here for the next episode. Uh, I don't really know. It's It'll be episode four on Peacock, whatever that one might be when... <laughs> if you're holding the Blu-rays of the DVDs, you tell me what episode four is. I have no idea. Okay, guys. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll see ya. <laughs>